Thursday. Wonder what's on the agenda for today. Nah, I don't really know. I like got my GE Modern Supersonic plush. So what should I do now? I mean, I have him. He's a pretty great plush. You know what? It just isn't enough. I need another Sonic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my phone right now and I'm gonna go check up on Amazon right now to see what what new um, Sonic plushes they got. I want to get a new Sonic. So, time to check what they got on Amazon. Hmm. Alright, time to see what they got. Oh, they got some modern Sonics. I think that's the one I have, I think. There's classic Sonic from GE. What? There's a classic Jack, there's a Jack specific classic Sonic plush for only $10? Oh, now that's a steal. You know what? I'm gonna buy this plush because this plush is the cheapest classic Sonic plush ever. So I'm gonna buy this plush right now. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna buy this plush. So I'm gonna click add to cart. Hey everybody, Supersonic Fan 115 here, and today I'm back again with another unboxing video for you guys. As you can see, I got my classic Sonic plush right here. It came in the mail today, so like I am so excited to unbox this plush. I got my scissor right here to cut it open and stuff. But before I start this unboxing video, I just want to say shout out to Sonic Lover Plush for um, helping me out and making me the thumbnail for this unboxing video. He's also the same guy who also made the thumbnail for my GE Supersonic plush unboxing video. So the link to his channel will be in the description of the video and it will be on the top right corner of the screen. So you should probably should see it in the top right corner very soon. So yeah, now without any further ado, let's get ready for the unboxing video. And also, I also, like, yesterday I thought this plush was gonna come, but of course Amazon said it got delayed, but thankfully it came today, so, yeah. And with that being said, let's start this unboxing video, so, now I'm gonna cut this open. Just gonna cut this open. Come on, cut that bad boy open. Let's see what's inside. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I'm gonna reach inside and boom my Jack specific classic Sonic plush whoa this plush looks so cute and adorable wow look how cute this plush looks all right well time for me to cut this um plush out like the, the bag material this freaking plastic bag get out of here you stupid plastic bag yeah Alright, time to feel this plush. Oh my god! He feels so soft! Wow, the eyes feel really, really good. The ears are really good too. Wow! Oh man, and the back feels really, really soft too. And of course, it only has three head spikes, like right here. But I don't really care. It was literally the cheapest one I could possibly get. And wow, it looks very cute. All right, now let's just take a look at his tag. All right, so this is what his tag looks like. It has a dynamic so classic Sonic pose right there. And it has a ring around it. Like that, that looks pretty cool. And you got the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. And you got his name, Sonic. I don't even know why he's called Sonic. He's, called, he's basically classic Sonic, but whatever. And here you got his tag. And it's just a bunch of random crap that nobody reads. Now let's just look at his little hands. Okay, so his hands look, well, not the best, but it gets the job done of being fingers. I mean, he has like tiny little stubby hands. Like, at least he has like the finger detail. He has five fingers and uh, here's the thumb, as you can see. His arm feels really soft. And uh, yeah, same for the other hand. It's basically the same exact thing. And he has a very circular, circular belly. So, yeah, his belly is like a very good circle. So, that's pretty good. And his little, like, things right here. Like, they're all pretty good. Like, it's pretty good. It gets the job done. His little tail. These are his back spikes. So, yeah, they're pretty good. And let's just take a look at his, uh, 
his little touch tag. Yeah, it just says Sonic the Hedgehog. What else? Man, just a bunch of legal crap. Nobody reads that anyways. And yeah. Oh yeah, and let's go down to the shoes. Oh, the shoes. They feel really nice. Whoa. The shoes feel really nice. Wow, this is very well done. Obviously, his legs have no stubbing. I mean, stuffing, not stubbing. <laughs> what the frick? I'm mean, sorry. It has no stuffing. But the gold buckles are pretty well made. Sadly, they are made out of material that attracts dust, and that's pretty stupid. But it's still overall a really good plush. Wow, this classic Sonic plush is amazing. It's so cute and so adorable. So, yeah. Oh, what the heck is that? I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Overall, I think this is a very good plush, and if you guys don't have a Classic Sonic plush yet, then I recommend you buy this guy, because you will not be disappointed. Sure, he's small, but God, he's like the cheapest Classic Sonic plush out there. Like seriously, there is no other Classic Sonic plush out there that costs $10 like this guy. So yeah, basically, this is basically your only chance. If you want to get a nice, cheap Classic Sonic plush, then this guy is is your this plush is your guy so yeah this is basically your main plush he's it's literally the cheapest classic sonic plush ever there's literally no other classic sonic plushes that cost ten dollars so you really can't go wrong with this guy so yeah but now as of now before i end this video i'm going to compare him to again with my toy factory modern sonic plush so as you can see he's my toy factory modern sonic plush is pretty much taller than him because this plush is 12 inches and this one's like 7 inches. But that's to be expected. Classic Sonic is supposed to be small, so that's expected. And I'd say they over overall, they look pretty, pretty cool side by side. Man, they look pretty awesome. So, yeah. That's basically like a little comparison between the two. So, yeah. Also, guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to add Classic Sonic in my Season 3 series of Sonic Plush Adventures. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm pretty much gonna have to save him for season four, guys, because I don't want to do remake. I don't really want to uh, remake the, the freaking season three intro, but add Classic Sonic into it. It's gonna mess everything up for me and stuff. And it was very hard to make that intro, so yeah. Sadly, you guys are just gonna have to wait for season four for his appearance. But his first appearance will be in my season one remastered. After I'm done with season three, I'm gonna remaster season one of my plus series because it was kind of garbage and stuff. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say about this cute little guy. So yeah, make sure to go buy him if you want the cheapest classic Sonic plush, then buy this plush because he's very cheap and very good. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. So yeah, basically um, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and make sure to tap the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new videos. And yeah, and yeah, that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace out, guys. Bye. Hey, Classic Sonic, gotta go fast.